everyone it's Essie here with a process video for UK scrap addicts and our theme this month is mixed media so I've used a whole assortment of mediums on my layout and first I've got some shimmers watercolour in um, going peach side I've got three colours of nouveau embellishment mousse in pink flambe old navy and coral calypso I've got three colours of distress oxide in faded jeans worn lipstick and spun sugar and I've got some distressed inks in picked raspberry and chipped sapphire. And I've also got these colour shine sprays from Heidi Swap in ocean and sea foam. And that's what I'm going to start off with by the, using the good old packaging technique to lay some colour down onto my background sheet of cardstock. I'm using just normal white basil um, on this occasion. I could have used marshmallow and I haven't um, actually popped any gesso down either because I'm not applying that much colour and I'm not going to spritz with water or anything over the top. So I took a chance and I'm just laying the colour down on the cardstock as is. So I've started off with Ocean and then as you can see I've um, tipped some sea foam onto my sheet of plastic and I've got a little bit too much there so what I'm doing is picking up the colour with a smaller piece of acetate because I just I only wanted a hint of green. I've put that aside to dry and I've now got some circles cut from and I am using marshmallow cardstock this time and I'm going to do I've got six circles and I'm going to do um, three sets of pairs of um, mixed media techniques on each um, circle so I'm starting off with the embellishment mousses and I'm just going in first with the coral calypso then adding the pink flambe down the sides as you can see and then I'm going to finish off by adding the old navy and when I lift the stencil away you can see that these mousses blend beautifully where they've overlapped on the stencil and they create a really lovely blended effect if you used sort of toned similar tones you'd get a lovely ombre effect I've gone for three um, different colours that match the colour papers that I'm going to be using for my second technique I'm going to use the shimmers paint and the picked raspberry um, distress inks and I'm just going to literally paint the circle in a sort of a swirly um, effect blending the colours together just so I get a watercoloured circle as I said just swirling the colours the, the shimmers add some beautiful um, pearly finish and I'm adding some flicks of colour as well just to add a little bit more interest to that and for my third technique, I'm going to use some stamping. So I've got my Distress Oxides, or oh, Oxides even, and I've also got that Chipped Sapphire and Picked Raspberry Ordinary Distress Inks. I don't end up using the sponge sugar that you can see off to the side there, but I wasn't sure at the time whether I was going to. So what I've done, I've got some fairly solid stamps. This is a heart, and it has got a little dotty um, pattern on it but you can't really see it with this effect I'm applying the ink I'm applying um, the distress oxide to the top half and the picked raspberry to the bottom half and then I'm spritzing with water and then laying down the color by stamping on that piece of cardstock I'm going in with my second stamp here which is another heart but with a striped effect and I'm using the distress oxide and just adding a little water, a little bit less water, so I don't get such um, a watercolour effect with that colour. And then I'm going in with a little tiny circle for some smaller accents in the chip sapphire. And I'm not adding any water at all. I'm going straight in with that colour as is. So now I've got my three mixed medium techniques on my circles. I've got another set which I've also done. Um, so I've got two of each. And I've um, my background is dry, so I'm adding some stamping to add some detail onto that watercolored effect background. So as you can see, I've started off with some randomly stamped circles, 
And I'm now going in with some little tiny stamps to add some accent details. I've got a couple of tiny hearts and a circle which I've arranged on my stamping block. And I'm just stamping a set of three onto each circle. So what I'm aiming for is to create some clusters of stamps, um, some, some stamped clusters on my background page. And I'm now adding an arrow with the picked raspberry. And I'm taking care to think about the direction of the arrows as I stamp them. I don't want them to lead the eye away from my photograph. So I'm stamping them in different directions, but always thinking about which direction I want the focus to be on on my page. And finally, I've got some um, hashtag stamps. These I love these. I use these a lot from Tim Holtz and Stampers Anonymous. And I'm going to stamp a hashtag um, word into each stamped cluster as well. So I finished that and I've just placed my circles and my photograph onto my background page to get some positioning and realised that on that left hand side there I've covered up all of the stamped cluster and it doesn't kind of balance. So I'm just adding another one in slightly higher so that you, even though a lot of it's covered up, you see a little bit of it to sort of balance the page out. Um, otherwise, there'd be that a big gap on that left hand side where there wasn't any stamping. I'm going to add some stitching round these watercoloured circles. So I've used my pokey tool to uh, punch some holes or prick some holes around the edge. And I'm just using um, some embroidery thread and also I've got some sparkly metallic thread. So I've got two strands of each mixed together um, in navy and pink around the edges of those circles. Once they're stitched, I've stuck a circle of fun foam onto the back of each one so that those two circles are raised. And I'm beginning to stick my all of my circles now in place on my background. Just adding some tape runner to the others. And I'm, uh, as I said, added some fun foam to the two watercolour circles. And I'm going to add some fun foam to this stenciled one as well so that I've got three um, circles that are raised and three that are flat. I should say that this layout is actually inspired by one of the scrap lift challenges from the scrap, scrap squad Facebook group as well. So just getting my circles in place there. Having a look at it, the positioning and thinking about what else I want to add to my page. I know I want to add some embellishments across that middle section, but I also want to add a border along the top and the bottom. I'm using my ruler to tear my paper along the edge. I decided I wanted a straight line, but I wanted a bit of a rough finish to the edge. So just using my ruler to um, tear the paper creates that nice straight edge, but with a bit of um, a distressed look. And I'm going to do the same with the paper layers that I'm going to put behind my photograph. These are papers from the um, Pink Paisley Paige Evans Horizon range. And I'm also going to be using some um, embellishments, um, ephemera from that ephemera kit. And I've got some puffy stickers and other bits and pieces from some of the other Pink Paisley ranges, which are not all Horizon, but because they're all Paige Taylor Evans, from Pink Paisley, they kind of all um, coordinate in terms of colours and things. Just finishing off tearing my layers. It's a bit fiddly when you've got a small edge. Um, I should have thought about that before I tore it off really. But I got there. And wanting another edge as well, another blue edge behind the pink. I did wonder about whether I could get the photograph off so I could move the arrangement of the layers about a bit, but I couldn't. So went with it as it was and just putting that extra blue layer. And now I've struck my, stuck my borders together. I'm going to apply them um, with just some tape runner to the top and bottom of my page. And I'm adding some fun foam to the back of my photograph to stick that in place as well. 
This is a photo of myself and my partner. Um, it's a car selfie just as we're setting off to drive the eight hours to Devon um, for my niece's wedding last summer. So we're all smiles there. Six hours into the road trip later, we were looking a little bit more tired, but we got there and we had a fabulous week. So I'm starting to add some bits of ephemera now. Those are bits from the ephemera pack and I've cut that tag in half so that I've got a little bit poking out from just one side. And then I've got this sheet with all the globes on and I've cut three of the globes from that sheet of paper. Oh, and there's a quick flash of the cut apart sheet from the 6x8 Horizon pad as well there, which I've cut those strips from which have all got words and phrases on so i'm using my silicon glue gel to start sticking down those bits of ephemera i found this glue really useful when i'm sticking things that are multi-layered so um obviously where i'm overlapping onto my photograph the photograph is slightly higher than the bits that it's um coming out of onto the edge because there's different layers um, of paper behind it so the silicon glue gel works brilliantly because it adjusts to the different layers behind it. I've got that little puffy heart shape there, which is um, it's an Amy Tangerine from Shine On. Um, she had a lovely set of puffy hearts. So just popping that in there and then adding that dream um, word strip as well. And then I'm going to add some embellishments to that top right hand circle so that what I've got is a triangle of three clusters of embellishments. So two of them around the photograph and then the third finishing the triangle off in that top right hand corner. I've put my card embellishments, my ephemera bits down and now I'm coming in with some puffy stickers got a little butterfly on that top left hand corner and I also love that cute little pink camera which after I fiddle around with the positioning and squidge my butterfly um, I'm really liking up in that top cluster there decided it needed to overlap a little bit choosing a puffy sticker to add into each set of plus each cluster so that I've got uh, a matching embellishment in each one little um, duo of flowers there on that left hand side of that cluster and now I've got some navy word stickers so I'm going to choose a couple of um, suitable word stickers just using my pokey tool to help me get it in the right place because they are quite fiddly these are from Pretty Little Studios and going to tuck that one in there as well and then obviously I'm going to put another one up into the other cluster across the top of my photograph. I'm also going to then add, just finish off with some little tiny heart stickers, these are from the Amy Tangerine Shine On as well and that's my layout finished. Thank you so much for watching, I apologise if you hear any background noise on my voiceover today, it's a beautiful day and my neighbours are having a barbecue and it didn't matter where I went in the house I could still hear them, so apologies for that if you heard anything and I do hope to see you here again soon, thanks for watching, bye!